Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to solve equations using what we've learned about fractions. So we're taking two things that we've learned before and we're putting them together. So we solve equations with fractions in the same exact way we solve any other equation. We isolate the variable, which means get it by itself, using our inverse operations, and we go, we follow GEMDAS in reverse. Remember, sad meg, subtract add first, then multiply or divide, and then exponents or grouping symbols. We won't really be using those. We're just going to be doing the opposite of subtracting and addition and dividing and multiplying. So what I need you to do now is get yourself a notebook or a piece of paper, lined paper, graph paper. Get yourself a pencil or a pen. When we do math during distance learning, you must write down the stuff that I write. We're not doing our math in our head. So please try to keep your math notes somewhere safe. Maybe keep it in a folder. Maybe you have a composition book or a notebook. Try to keep all of your papers together. And then, as usual, whatever you see me write, I would like you to copy down each problem and write what you see. So pause the video and go ahead and get those items before we begin. All right, let's take a look at number one. W minus one half equals two and three fourths. So just like any other equation, we wanna get the W by itself. So we have to do the inverse of minus one half, which would be to add one half to both sides of the equation. You can see that I drew a, uh, a wall through the equal sign and I added one half to both sides. Now, because we have opposites, we can zero out and all we're left with on the left side is the W. Now on the right side, we need to use our knowledge of fractions and we need to add these two fractions together. So let's go through the process. I need a common denominator, which would be four. So I'm going to have two and three fourths plus two fourths. Now that my denominators are the same, I'm going to add them together. So we get two and five fourths. But we cannot leave our answer like this because we have an improper fraction within our mixed number. So 4 goes into 5 one time with 1 fourth remaining, and when we add the whole numbers together, our final answer will be 3 and 1 fourth. And that is what W will equal. If you wanted to check, you could do 3 and 1 fourth minus one half, and that will prove to equal two and three fourths. So that is how we solve an equation with a fraction. Let's try number two. This time we have a two-step equation. X over eight plus one equals nine. So remember, we can't move the eight until we do GEMDAS in reverse. So that means we are going to either start with subtraction or addition. The inverse of adding one is to subtract one from both sides. Step one, we have a zero pair because one minus one is zero, so I Z that out, and I am left with x over eight on the left side equal to nine minus one, which is eight. Now, this is my second step. So x over eight is division. A lot of times when we did this in class, we wrote it out with the division symbol. And the inverse of dividing is to multiply. So we're going to multiply both sides by eight. And on the left side of the wall, we have multiplication and division. That will be a cross out. That will equal one. Eight divided by eight is one. And then we are left with x equals 8 times 8, giving us the answer of 64. Now remember, checking equations will always tell you if your answer is right or not. So let's take x equals 64 and rewrite it in our original problem. 
we're going to prove that this is actually true. So 64 divided by 8 is 8. And if we add 1 to that, then in fact we show that 9 equals 9. So that checks out. Before we move on to number 3, to see if you're watching and listening to this video, I'm going to tell you a secret code. You're going to type this secret code on the last slide on the rubric slide of today's work. If you write the secret code, I will know that you watched this video up until this point at least. The secret code is pizza. All right, moving on to number three. Let's draw a wall to separate the left and the right side. Now this one is a little bit different. This says one half times x equals two thirds. The inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by one half. One half divided by itself is just one. So on the left side, we're left with x. But on the right side, we're going to rewrite this out as a division problem. Two thirds divided by one half. Now, if you remember the rule for dividing fractions, what we do, and I want you to write this down, is we multiply by the reciprocal. So that is our trick. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So that would look like this. Two thirds, keep that the same. We change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and then the reciprocal of one half is two over one. Now multiplying across, two times two gives us four, and three times one gives us three. So if you leave your answer as an improper fraction, it would be four thirds, or we can change it into a mixed number. Three goes into four once, with one third left over. So x equals one and one third, and that would be our answer. Now remember, if you are unsure of how I did any of these, go back and watch it again. That's why I'm making these videos for you so you can pause, you can rewind, and watch it as many times as you need to. Now that you've watched the video, you can click on the activity on the must do slide. And if you do all the must do's, that's how you will receive a passing credit for today's work. Remember to let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing you in the Zoom later. Bye everyone.